Good morning, I'm Stephen McLaughlin. I'm head chef at restaurant Andrew Fairley at Glen Eagles. My day-to-day -day job is kitchen management. Anything that goes on inside the four walls of the kitchen is up to me. Ultimately, buck stops with me. In the kitchen, we've got 13 members in our team, um, 11 chefs and two kitchen porters. In front of the house, there is a full team of 14. In our team at restaurant Andrew Fairley, we've got some long-standing members who have been with us for a very long period of time, committed fully to the business. Uh, we've got an amazing pastry chef, his name is Gerard, or Gigi. He is a fantastic baker and he's a brilliant teacher. We've got Russell, who's sous chef, senior sous chef. Um, he's been with us for eight years, um, an absolute ox of a man. Lorna had came to a stage in her career where she possibly could have moved on somewhere else. We made a huge commitment to Lorna to progress and develop her through the ranks and into managing the kitchen. I think what helps to make Scotland's larder uh, one of the most sought after in the world is the Scottish environment, the weather, the climate, the pasture, the hills, the feed that's available for um, our wildlife and our growing produce. We don't necessarily look for Scottish. The first thing we look for is the best quality produce we can put our hands on. Nine times out of ten, that produce is Scottish. So on the menu just now, Scottish products you would see is consistently you would see Scottish lobster, creole cot, um, hand dive Scottish scallops, king langoustines, creole cot again. We see wild mushrooms and we see game in season. Scotch lamb is by far one of the most consistent products that we can use as chefs. One of the things that makes Scotch lamb consistent is the fact that we've got traceability all the way through from, you know, we contact our butcher when we're placing an order, we don't speak to an answering machine, we actually contact our butcher to make sure he has got exactly what we're looking for. He knows through working with us and developing a working relationship what we're looking for and he can then be specific with his supplier who then can be specific with his supplier further down the line. For us, ultimate traceability is so important as how we cook the lamb at the end of the day. When we're looking for a great rack of Scotch lamb, what we're looking for is beautifully fresh meat that's been well looked after by the butcher. Um, we have got a, quite a tight specification of what we're looking for. We're looking for six bone racks of lamb and from there we can get two perfect a la carte portions from that. Ultimately with lamb you don't know exactly how good it's going to be until you eat it. Proof of the pudding is always in the eating. So there's a great deal of trust with our suppliers and there's a great deal of trust with the farmers and their husbandry of the animals. So when we're planning menus, we sit with a carte blanche and we just bounce ideas off each other. We cook what we want to cook, and we cook what our customers want to eat. I've been at Restaurant Andrew Fairley for 17 years, just over 17 years now, and the food has evolved and the food has developed through a couple of areas. I think there's areas of the food where we have push boundaries and cooked, cooking food now that we maybe wouldn't have cooked three or four years ago. There's other areas of the food where we've simplified it as well. We're really where we understand the ingredient, the core of the ingredient, and we are really true to it. I would say we are ingredient quality, ingredient led. The ambition for me at Restaurant Andrew Fairley is to consistently maintain extremely high standards. What's crucial for us is the longevity of the business as well and the longevity of the industry. So we've got a band of young chefs who come to us and they expect to be worked hard, they expect to be filled with knowledge, they expect to be enthused with passion. My job for the next four or five years is just to keep that going and to maintain very high standards and the quality of working conditions is very important as well.